Hank Pearl from TheDailyRock.com, backstage with Jeff from Mushroom Head. Sir? How's it going, man? How are you doing tonight? I'm good. We're hanging out in this fine establishment yes. area of this club. It's probably the quietest room in the house, so let's try to capture some magic in the bathroom. I don't think there's anything creepy about two dudes standing in the bathroom probably in an old not. building with one dude covered in <laughs> Women blood. do this all the time. I think it's called pottering your nose, but we're laying down some words on a fucking video. Sorry, is this... You're cool. It's internet. It's internet. Fucking video recorder in a bathroom. So, okay. Um, this newest album and your newest single, everything's been changed up a little bit, wouldn't you say? As far as uh, from breaking away a little bit from your traditional sound, a little more of your iconic black and white look with your synth sounds and whatnot. Yeah, I don't, I don't really go by style of music. I just, we just basically as a band do what comes out. And, um, we, we wanted to be heavy because we've been a little mellow in earlier days lately, but uh, um, every, everything we do is just what we feel inside. We don't really try to hook onto a style or really write for radio, even though some things have said that, but every everything is just what we're feeling at the time. When we came off the tour with Head P.E., Come On and Slaughterhouse Road were really what we were feeling. What brought about uh, the different changes uh, this time? Because you guys have had some lineup changes recently. Um, um, and so how, what, what happened to uh, shift the sound? What changed in the band's mindset recently? Well, Savior Sorrow is basically Waylon getting his feet wet. And now this record, I basically stayed away for the first three or four months out of 14 months we were working on this album just to let him have a blank canvas and run with it and see what happened. And um, and then we came in later after, like I said earlier, the head PE tour and just laid down some really heavy stuff or just whatever we had left in the tank. And um, and there was this thing happening in the middle. It was a mix of the two cultures, Waylon's second record and me coming in later. It's just, uh, it's just, I think it's uh, another step in the mushroom head evolution. We've always been about change. like. Self-titled to Super Beat was a big change, even though it was a year apart, and then M3 was definitely a change. It was more of a metal record. And then once we got on Eclipse and further Universal Megaforce, it just became even more metal in a way, but still Mushroom Head. And uh, who knows what, we're right down the road. Where do you think you guys are gonna go next after this? Are you gonna continue on this path with this sound? you gonna go back to any roots? Um, I think we always try to go a little bit to our roots, even though they're maybe subdued at times on the newer stuff. We're, uh, we're more of a stoner mushroom head at this time, and who knows where the next sound will come from. But uh, it's always been about change, and we just want to do what we do. I don't, I don't like sit down and write a song ever to write to a certain thing. I just write what comes out, what I'm feeling. Every day is a new day in music. Okay. With this album, uh, it's actually been pretty successful. You sold 11,000 copies within your first week. You're climbing up the Billboard indie chart. Uh, could this be your most successful album yet? And if so, does mainstream success mean anything to you? Do you care if you chart or anything like that? I just want to. I just want to do music every day for my whole life. And. I would like to do it on a higher level, but I'll do it at whatever level because just having the fans sing back every word, every night is the most important thing. And um, I don't think there's a mainstream. I think everything is a little different. There is a new thing every day thrown into the digital fire. Every day there's a new thing musically on MySpace, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is. It's a new world and I just like living in it. Rock on. Um, let's talk about your fans for a second. I've been looking around outside the crowd. You have a very eclectic group. I see a little bit of industrial kids. I see some heavy metal kids. I see a lot of juggalos too. And you guys toured with ICP uh, a while back, or you played with them a while back. Yeah. Uh, so how much of a crossover have you seen between different crowds? Um, as far as the ICP thing goes, we intended to do a tour with them a couple of years ago and they noticed that they had a lot of Mushroom Head fans in their crowds, and we were probably always meant to cross and and be one 
entity on tour for a while, and I hope it happens on the road. But uh, Mushroom Man has always been 13 year olds, 50 year olds, whoever's in the crowd, and we welcome everyone. And whether we did or not, that's what happens every show. There's a mix every show. It's like not one culture. It's like you could look at it as an interdenominational church, if you will. That's what Mushroom Head is. And what's the gospel you're preaching? I'm preaching believe what you believe. No one knows what's exactly right for any of us. No one knows what works perfectly. There's this set thing called the American dream. I think that's rewritten every day. Interesting. Can you expand on that at all? As far as uh, the American dream being rewritten, what do you see? Um, I just think everyone should be happy in what self they become. No one should tell you who you should be. <clears throat> A lot of things were written as we were born. We were told this thing to be. And just open your mind and be whatever you want. I guess that's all I got. Okay. Uh, lastly, with the new album and with the new tour and everything, what sorts of themes are we, uh, what sorts of new themes have you come across that, have, that are different from your past as well? Yeah, I, I think the record is meant to be like, we're trampled underfoot, we're pushed around by society, or we're this new monster created in the privacy of our own home, whatever that was. I think this record is a mix of all that. Happiness, sadness, the extremes of hatred and hope. It's like the further we've gone on the roller coaster ride, and who knows when that might end. Rock on. All right, well, thank you very much, sir, for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And now I have a hand. Oh, wow, it doesn't stick out. It's a little dry. What do you use for, last question actually, what do you use for blood and everything? Uh, the really sticky wet stuff is called Mayron. The stuff that looks more like scab is something that Great House made me, but I usually use Ben I. I just ran out because my friends at Jinx ran out too. And uh, This mask is actually a head cast from Christopher Lee's face. We just had to cut like an inch and a half out because his face was much longer than mine. That's awesome. All right, well, thank you again very much. Thank you. All right. I